Hi, this is Erika Kasab from a Small Robot Studio. In this video, I'll show you how to create a stylized low-poly tree with Nomad Sculpt and the painting software of your choice, like Procreate. The technique is quite simple. I will start by creating two planes. Inside the topology menu, I'm gonna lower their density, so we have only a couple polygons. In this section, we can choose exactly how many divisions we want, vertically and horizontally. Make sure to validate these geometries. Now, head to the interface menu, the debug section, and activate Add BFF UVs. We are going to combine these meshes now. Back in the scene menu, I'm gonna select them and tap on Join at the top. Now, head back to the topology menu. This time we're gonna head to the Ford tab, Desi slash UV. Find the UV auto unwrap section and hit unwrap atlas. Make sure to activate the UV bottom button so we can see a flat version of our model in the background. Zoom out enough so your model is not covering this grid and take a screenshot. Now open Procreate or the software of your choice. Create a square canvas of at least 512 by 512. Place the image inside your canvas and resize it. In independent layers, draw the leaves. Make sure they're inside this grid. Make slight variations of value, shape and size. When you're done, hide the original image and export a PNG with transparent background. Let's bring these fresh leaves into Nomad. But before we do so, I want to take a moment to thank the amazing peeps that support the channel via Patreon. You guys are the best, thank you so so much! All our Patreon supporters gain access to a growing library of assets, like the models showcased in our tutorials, and bonus video content, like unedited time lapses. Learn more about it at patreon.com slash smallrobotstudio. Alright, back in Nomad, I'm gonna select the leaves and open the material menu. Head to the texture section, find the square next to color, and find the image you just made. Select the filtering option that makes the image look best. Head back to the scene menu and separate the leaves back into individual meshes. Sweet! Now we just need the rest of the tree. We can easily create a trunk by using the tube tool. Select path creation method, tap and drag, and tap again to create a curve. When you are happy, tap on the green dot to create a geometry. At the top, in the floating menu, tap on radius so you can have a different size at the start and end. You can still move around the dots and edit the shapes as long as you don't select validate. Once I have a working base, I'll select the leaf, clone it, place it, and repeat. With a brush like move, you can add some curvature and variety to them. This is the classic technique of textures with alpha cards. Very common in game environment art. However, it's also great for creating hair without having to model every single strand. Now, this tree looks kinda lame. Because a successful prop needs more than just following a technique. I created it on the fly with no goal in mind. So I went back to the beginning even before opening Noma. I gathered references and created a concept. With a clear goal, the journey makes sense. After placing the cat that I already made into the scene and adding a base for size reference, I begin right away building the tree. For now, I block in the main canopy volumes by placing spheres with flat bottoms. As for tree trunk, I'm not getting too crazy with the number of branches. I only need the biggest ones for now. You'll see me pulling the bottom of the curves under the planes. This is to control the flow of the curvature and to leave no gaps between the trunk and the base. Later, I will cut that extra volume. By the way, it's worth saving a camera with the ideal POV to see this prop. Once I am confident about the main volumes, I start thinking of the first layer of detail. For the widest areas of the tree, instead of using one tube per branch, I'll use two or three and I'll weave them in a subtle spiral. Trees rotate as they grow, to get sunshine in all its surfaces. Now it's time for smaller branches. These are much simpler in comparison. 
I am making sure they are visible from the main camera, but also that no branch is obscuring each other. Readability is always your priority. To keep the design interesting, avoid repetitive shapes. Note how I vary the angle of the branches and how I combine curves and corners. Look carefully at the negative space, the areas around your model. Note how different the shapes are. If these become too similar in shape and size, your design is at risk of becoming monotonous. Also, note on the specially clean negative space that I made around the cat. It's time to select all the branches and voxel merge them to turn it into one object that I can sculpt on. Now I can chop the bottom with my trim tool. To polish it, I smooth the weird areas that resulted from the merge. And with crease and flatten, I emphasize the spiraling of the branches. Now it's canopy time. I'm gonna use the trim tool again, but in its options, I'm gonna disable close holes. So I can cut the bottom and leave this open. Now I'm gonna add a cylinder and lower its topology and trim the body so I am left with the circular cap. With masks and the gizmo tool, I can adjust the topology and control the shape a bit more. Just like I showed you before, I'll combine these canopy meshes, unwrap the UVs and paint the leaves. In this first pass, I'll paint simple stacked leaves with different shades of green. I only want a general idea of how this will look in Nomad. I go back and forth, adding a little more detail, adjusting color and testing on 3D. I decided I wanted individual leaves for even more variety, which meant that my UV unwrap changed and I had to move around everything in Procreate to fit it. I don't recommend making this late choice. Learn from my mistakes. I gave myself a lot of extra work. Once I'm past this hurdle, I take this rough texture into Nomad. Now I can experiment duplicating pieces and finding the right placement. I couldn't do this before when it was all a flat color. I pay special attention to the silhouette of the canopy. We don't see smooth surfaces on trees. This is why we created the extra bits that are layered on top. Now it's time to polish this painting. To create the illusion of depth, it helps a lot to paint the shadow that the top lips are cast to the bottom ones. Keep the lower lips darker in general and change the shade of green. I am using a bluer green for the dark ones and a yellower one for light ones. And make sure that you are taking breaks. Every time that I come back from one, I reassess my work by making notes on a screenshot. It keeps me focused and I quite enjoy to see how my work evolves. Anyway, here's the final version. As always, I am excited to see the work that you create from these tutorials. Feel free to tag me on Instagram. I will see you soon. Happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.